Hello today's video we have the following content. 5 bad dramas named and criticized by CCTV were all removed from the shelves, and some were even banned before they finished airing. These 5 works caused an uproar in the entertainment industry. The absurd and bizarre plot subverted 3 concepts, and the vulgar content was suspected of smearing the image, causing the audience to ridicule. Fortunately, CCTV criticized it and revealed its bad movie nature. After being severely criticized by CCTV, these low-quality dramas were no longer able to act freely and were forced to be removed from the shelves one after another. What's more, the show was banned before it was finished. These scenes made people applaud, and the audience finally got rid of the pain of bad dramas. Recently, five drama series that have been severely criticized by CCTV have attracted widespread attention in the industry. These five works have been criticized in terms of plot logic, characterization and production standards, and can be regarded as the best among bad dramas. Gentlemen of East 8th District. As a masterpiece of the year, this idle drama has aroused fanatic expectations from fans during its pre-broadcast stage. The source of its charm undoubtedly comes from the full participation of the famous actor Zhang Han. He has multiple identities as screenwriter, producer, producer and starring injecting unique artistic charm into the work. Zhang Han's new drama was originally highly anticipated and thought it would create a craze, but unexpectedly, the drama's reviews plummeted after it was aired, as low as 2.1 points, just one step away from the lowest score. The negative review rate was as high as 96%, which was shocking. After The Gentleman of East 8th District was released, it immediately triggered heated discussions among fans. Not only did they continue to criticize and criticize the show, but the show's badness reached a new level, which shocked people and once again made waves in the entertainment industry. In the hit drama, the image of the male protagonist played by Zhang Han is controversial. From rough pulling of underwear to direct hand attacks on the breasts, to sexually suggestive lines, these images and words made the audience feel extremely uncomfortable, especially those greasy and vulgar lines, which were even more unacceptable. CCTV couldn't bear to watch it anymore. It publicly commented on a certain movie and drama, bluntly saying that its black and red line was not advisable, emphasizing that the work should adhere to the quality of content and the integrity of three views, and present excellent works to the audience. The Gentleman of East 8th District starring Zhang Han went in the opposite direction, ignored the bottom line, and arbitrarily challenged the audience's aesthetics. It was eventually removed from the shelves. The audience unanimously praised this move and said it was enjoyable. The Anti-Japanese Heroes The word key in the title of the play has whetted the audience's appetite, and they are even more surprised after watching it. I thought it was just an anti-war drama, but I unexpectedly found that it incorporated fantasy elements into it, and the performance was lifelike and breathtaking. The righteous men in the play all have unique skills and outstanding martial arts. Because their homeland fell to the enemy, they resolutely packed up their bags and devoted themselves to the battle to defend their hometown. They joined the anti-Japanese war team and contributed to the cause of anti-Japanese war. I never expected that there would be endless outrageous plots such as tearing up the Japanese with hands in the play, which were so exaggerated that they simply subverted common sense. There are also magic skills such as flying over eaves and walking over walls, and escaping from a hail of bullets, which are jaw-dropping. The anti-Japanese drama is so exciting that it's hard for the audience to buy into it. The drama ignores the dignity of the heroes of the anti-Japanese war, distorts historical facts, and actually inserts the mythical plot into the theme of the anti-Japanese war, which is shocking. The work was severely criticized by the state administration of press, publication, radio, film and television for a series of inappropriate behaviors that misled young people, and was decisively banned. It has since disappeared from the public eye. Who would have expected that this high-profile work would be severely criticized by the state media and quickly removed from the shelves after only nine episodes were aired? The audience just wanted to watch it, but found that the show was nowhere to be found, and there was no trace of it on all major platforms. In the ever-changing situation in the entertainment industry, although the director of the crew was unwilling to give up, he still tried hard to argue and try to make the final struggle. However, those seemingly reasonable explanations are just helpless actions for personal gain, and they cannot hide the truth after all. The plot narrative is a bit stiff, and the beginning seems too strong. Many famous scenes made people feel uncomfortable, especially the tense atmosphere of the soldiers charging, which was actually interpreted into a funny scene like a catwalk, which was shocking. After several rounds of fierce battles, 
The soldiers' uniforms still remained neat and flawless, which seemed particularly unreal in the context of the time. After all, the smoke and flames of war on the battlefield should have caused the shirt to become worn out, instead of being as brand new as it is now. What's amazing is that these warriors are not only brave and fearless on the battlefield, but also look gorgeous. The male actors also carefully styled their hair and applied hairspray to ensure that they still looked outstanding despite the war. Even under heavy gunfire, their hair remained intact, showing a different style. The female soldiers are also eye-catching. On the war-torn battlefield, they still maintain exquisite makeup and wear tight skirts and high heels. This false image forms a sharp contrast with the true style of our soldiers. Magic Gun The show is intriguing based on its title alone and differentiates itself from traditional war films. When showing the environmental state of the soldiers, it accurately restores the real situation, making the audience feel as if they are actually there. However, this high-energy operation, changing the bullet's path, is really puzzling. What is the secret behind this seemingly incredible skill? It makes people curious and expectant. The warriors in the play are unique in the martial arts world and master unique skills. The moment the bullet leaves the chamber, a dexterous flick of the wrist instantly increases the speed of the bullet and draws a perfect arc. This skill is like a martial arts master's unique secret book, which is breathtaking. The presentation of this scene is jaw-dropping and completely subverts the audience's three perceptions. Such a bizarre setting that lacks scientific basis makes people question whether the director underestimated the audience's IQ. It is really difficult to convince people. What is staggering is that the protagonist halo effect in the play is astonishing. Once a soldier aims a gun, the gunshot will definitely hit the target. The enemy is often caught off guard. Such a magical skill is simply eye-catching. Even the supporting characters can shoot accurately, while the enemy is like a blind cannon, firing hard but often missing. This certainly shows the bravery and fearlessness of our soldiers, but the artistic processing also needs to be close to reality in order to touch people's hearts. Due to various reasons, the show could not escape the fate of being banned, and all related content was completely removed from the shelves which was very sad and triggered widespread discussion and attention. Advance towards the artillery fire. The title of this drama is a household name. As a high-profile masterpiece of the anti-Japanese war, its popularity will last forever. In particular, the super-acting skills of the male protagonist Wu Killing impressed the audience and made them unforgettable. Wu Killing in the play unexpectedly became the audience's thorn in the side, showing off his cool details throughout the whole process. Facing the enemy, he actually set up a Gatling to fire wildly, and his shooting skills were accurate and he hit every target. This setting made people laugh and cry. Alone, he was like the immortal protagonist in a play, showing no fear. He bravely displayed the courage of a heroic warrior, but his fearlessness seemed to go beyond the limits. The director carefully selected a beautiful partner for Wu Killing. Against the backdrop of the war of resistance against war, the two affectionately acted as a loving couple. The audience couldn't help but wonder, is this a romantic drama or a serious anti-Japanese drama? Wu Killing's style in the play is unique. He drives a black tricycle gracefully and flexibly shuttles through the smoke-filled battlefield. While showing off his cool driving skills, he holds a gun in his right hand and defeats the enemies one by one. The scene is both exciting and shocking. In the play, the enemy troops are like a group of mummies, standing lifelessly on the spot, with no ability to fight back. Wu Killing defeated them one by one like a god of war, and the enemy could only wait quietly for their fate. The heroic character is rendered otherworldly, while the enemy appears dull and powerless. Although it is easy to understand, the director should pay more attention to scenificity and the restoration of real scenes, so as not to become a laughing stock in the eyes of the audience and lose the depth and credibility of the work. Next news. Zhao Liang proves with her actions that there is no such thing as success without reason and hard work must be worthy of luck. I believe that many friends who clicked on this article have a strong interest in her love for Zhao Liying. Today, let us enter Zhao Liying's world and explore her charm. Zhao Liying, an actress who never left her hometown before the age of 18, has not received formal acting training. However, an opportunity in 2006 allowed her to shine on the stage of Yahoo Star Search and win the championship in Feng Xiaia Gang's group, thus entering the entertainment industry. Director Feng Xiaia Gang was very fond of her and invited her to be the heroine in his commercial film The Kneeling Tribe. This experience of jumping onto the screen undoubtedly laid a solid foundation for her future acting career. In 2011, with her outstanding performance in My Fair Princess, her role as Kinger won the love and recognition of the audience.
In 2013, a costume drama The Legend of Lu Shen took her acting career to a higher level. At the same time, her scandal with the male protagonist Chen Zio in the drama also became widespread. Many netizens still hope that they can get married, but Chen Zio has already married Michelle Chen, and this scandal can only become a beautiful memory for fans. In 2014, she won the Golden Eagle Goddess Award at the 10th Television Arts Festival for her outstanding performance. At the end of 2014, an urban romance drama Shanshan is coming swept the screen and became the focus of the audience's attention. With her wonderful performance in the play, an actress made a name for herself in the entertainment industry and won the Most Popular Actress Award at the 5th National Drama Festival. This honor is undoubtedly the best recognition of her talent and hard work. Zhao Lian Studio was officially established in 2014 under the framework of Heron Media. In 2015, Zhao Lian starred in the fairy tale drama A Thousand Bones of Flowers. With her outstanding performance, she won the Golden Lotus Award for Best Actress at the 6th Macau International Television Festival. She also won the Best Actress Award at the Chinese Drama Ceremony. She won the Ratings Charming Actor Award and was nominated for the Magnolia Best Actress Award for her performance, demonstrating her outstanding talent and influence in the entertainment industry. In 2017, she successfully won the Most Popular Actress Award among college students at the 24th Beijing University Student Film Festival for her outstanding performance in the movie Riding the Wind and Waves. This honor not only demonstrated her acting skills, but also demonstrated her success in the film industry of emerging. In 2017, the starring role in the TV series The Legend of Chuki led the ratings boom. As the first mainland drama to have more than 40 billion online views during its broadcast, it demonstrated its strong influence and audience love. In 2019, she participated in the filming of the TV series Green, Fat, Red, and Thin as a starring role. Her outstanding performance won her a nomination for Best Actress at the 25th Magnolia Award, which fully demonstrated her acting skill strength. With the development of the times and the advancement of science and technology, we are increasingly aware of the importance of innovation. Innovation is an important driving force for social progress and the key for enterprises to gain competitive advantage. However, innovation is not just the pursuit of novelty and uniqueness, but more importantly, it must be valuable and practical. Therefore, in the process of pursuing innovation, we need to constantly explore, try, adjust and improve in order to truly realize the value of innovation. At the same time, innovation also requires courage and determination. Because innovation often means breaking old frameworks and rules, and facing various difficulties and challenges. However, only by having the courage to try and take risks can we go further on the road of innovation. Therefore, we should encourage and support innovation, provide innovators with sufficient resources and support, and make innovation an important force in promoting social progress. In short, innovation is an important driving force for social progress and enterprise development. We should welcome innovation with an open mind promote innovation with courage and determination, make innovation a part of our lives, and inject new vitality and power into future development. Zhao Liying, a person who has transformed from an unknown to a first-line superstar, does not have a strong family background behind her, only her unremitting efforts and perseverance to move forward. She understands that opportunities always favor those who are prepared. Only by moving forward steadily can we find an extraordinary path out of the ordinary and create an extraordinary life chapter. Each of Shao Liying's works seems to reflect the footsteps of her growth, from obscurity to glory. Her success did not come overnight. Just like Minglin, who she played in Do You Know Should Be Green, Fat, Red, and Thin, her love when she was young was always trapped by criticism. People often only focus on the results she has achieved, but ignore it. The hard work and dedication behind it. She used her own strength and hard work to prove that every stage of growth is worthwhile, and every effort will eventually be rewarded. Zhao Liying's acting career was not smooth. She faced various doubts and criticisms, and she once felt low self-esteem because her acting skills were not mature enough. Her round face also caused problems in her acting career. However, she never gave up and insisted on using her own strength to prove that the value of an actor should not be limited by face shape. Eventually, she became the much-anticipated queen of round faces with her outstanding acting skills. Zhao Liying firmly believes that her works are the solid foundation for her to establish herself in the entertainment industry, and this is also the source of her confidence to stand tall. She always insists on being a person with attitude, 
principles and personality, refusing to blindly cater to the market and becoming an idol with only superficial appearance. Even when faced with the dilemma of being unapplauded, she would rather stick to herself than compromise. Friends, do you also have a soft spot for Shaolin, or are you deeply fascinated by her? Feel free to speak freely in the comment area and share your love and enthusiasm. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 